Hi guys, welcome to Soul's Journey. I'm going to try to catch the morning light and do an unboxing here and walk through of a new tarot deck that just arrived yesterday. And you can see it came in this beautiful purple bag. It's a stretchy, uh, very nice. And this is a Kickstarter project that I backed. This is called the Strath Tarot. Um, by Cassandra Oatman and it was due in September and lo and behold it is September and here it is. So that's pretty amazing. Now, I know this isn't going to be to most people's taste because this is just a um, majors only deck. She does have plans of completing a full 78 card deck. Let's try this way. Here we go. It's called the Strath Tarot. I'm not sure why. I hadn't actually bothered to ask her what the name was for. Uh, I know Strath is a Scottish word meaning a like a big wide valley. So I don't know if maybe that has something to do with it. Let me get this plastic off the outside and we will continue. Okay, so the plastic is off. It's a little hard to... See, this, this is a very dark picture on the box. Um, so it's by Cassandra Oatman in memory, or in honor of Jordan. Uh, he was her brother and passed away very young. Uh, not entirely sure when. And apparently he was very supportive and encouraged her to do this deck. Here's the little box. And I forgot she had put this little like key charm in as a gift. Very cute. So, this is called the Strath Tarot Edition 1 by Cassandra Oatman. Oh goodness, this light's not working out as well as I'd hoped. In honor of Jordan, the Majors reimagined. This deck follows the traditional Rider Waite esoteric tarot teachings and its imagery. You are, however, invited and encouraged to let your intuition guide you through the fool's journey. If these cards call to you, they are for you. Normal words, hear only the voice within. Remember, the first thing he said was, we are beyond words. Rumi. So I just get this little fold out with some meanings. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to put on the overhead light because this is not the greatest. Okay, I'm just moving out of the sunlight even though it seemed like a good idea. Really didn't work out that well. So there's just the little fold out that came with it. And more plastic, so hang on. I'm just going to show this real quick in case anybody's looking for a good way to get the plastic off. I've discovered seam rippers do really well at this. If I sound extremely congested, I apologize because I am. I've been battling a sinus infection for the last couple of weeks. So yeah, not having a lot of fun here. That's a little bright. I'm not sure what's going on with the color. Let me adjust. Okay, That's a little truer to what the card actually looks like. It was a little too purpley before. So these are, as I said, just a uh, a Majors deck. They're on a nice linen finish. Feels like a uh, regular card stock. There's no gilding on the sides. Doesn't look like. I don't think there was supposed to be. So, take a look at these. There's the Fool. And this is really very dark. So,
And this is the image that was on the box. Like I said they are kind of dark cards, so. <clears throat> I'm really eager for her to finish and do the full 78 card deck, although I'm sure that's a ways down the road. <clears throat> I think for the, the people who bought this edition, who backed this one on Kickstarter, she may be going to, you know, I, have to, I just have to say, that is a really beautiful hermit card. I really, really like that. Um, but anyway, um, for the people who backed the Majors Only edition, she I think she was going to either give us a discount on the full edition or give us a way to buy just the minors when, whenever that comes about. I guess, as most of you guys know, I do have a good number of majors only decks. That doesn't bother me. I can read with just the majors. I like that too. Wow. That's really nice. I really like her art style. I think it's really, really beautiful. And I'm getting so picky about what decks I will buy anymore. I just went through on Amazon and canceled a bunch that I had on pre-order because I just lost interest in them. Um, there were some that were like interesting but I knew I would get them and I would flip through them and then I would never look at them again. And I'm just at a point in my collection now that I'm not really willing to add every deck that comes along. I've passed up a lot on Kickstarter recently. Um, so I still have a few that I backed last year that are due this year that I'm waiting for, so there will be some more walkthroughs. But then I expect my um, it's a nice judgment card too. I expect all these walkthroughs are really going to taper off pretty soon. Beautiful world dancer. Very nice. So there it is. The Strath Tarot by Cassandra Oatman. And I think she will be selling these. I'll have to check. Let me see. Actually, I'm not sure if she is. Uh, the follow along link on her Indiegogo page or um, on the Kickstarter page leads to the Indiegogo page. Sorry about the overhead light there. Um, but there is, there is Cassandra. There's no link to buy it anywhere else that I've seen. If I can find one, I will put it down below in the description. Let's go ahead and just... So they are um, standard tarot size. So they're think. Hmm. Okay, maybe that's not going to work so well. The only thing, it's hard to riffle shuffle such a small amount of cards. I'm just waiting for the winds to calm down here in Oregon. Um, I'm on the west side of Portland, so I'm not in too much danger of the fires, which are mostly on the other side. Um, but there were a couple that started over on this side. I guess they've got them out now. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. It's very interesting. 
I was thinking about this card the other day after I watched um, Shannon Douglas's channel, Chasing Quicksilver, when he was talking about the wheel. And just thought again how the fool's journey, our lives, is not just one single linear progression. It's many progressions through life. And the cycles just keep repeating for us. Um, they come up, we, we go forward, and then something else sets us back in a different direction. And so the wheel is just constantly turning. Goes up, goes down. So whatever you're going through, it will end. And but life is full of joys and sorrows and it's not just, like I said, one linear progression from start to finish where things just continue to get better. It's a series of journeys through the wheel. So anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you like this deck and I will talk to you soon. Blessed be.